SI Compact Series consoles from Soundcraft have been around for a couple of years now. This is the latest in the family, the SI Performer. And the big difference here, this is the Performer 2, so it's got 24 in, 16 outputs on the back. Um, they've bumped up the mix channel count. You can get up to like 80 channels, including all your stereos and returns and stuff now, and that's across four layers. The big difference between this and the early Performer series, Julius? DMX lighting control, there all is, from the same face. There is a DMX output on the back of the console. It makes it fascinating when you think that audio people work at Unity Gain. And lighties work at full scale end of the fader. So, if I go to the zero point on the fader, my lights are at 100%. What no, happens if no, I go to actually at about plus 10 dB? I'm going to add 10 dB more lights. <laughs> This is where be more gain to your lighting. This lets you apply those mythical colours to your mix. Yeah, yeah. And you if you want the mix to sound, sound more, more lavender, you can do that now. Um, look, it, it's it's actually been quite well integrated the lighting control side of things. Um, you basically you go hold down the Alt button and you choose one of the four fader layers, and then you've got your various DMX channels um, w along with a master. And uh, the interesting thing is that the audio people, as Julius is saying, push the uh, channels up to unity, whereas the lighties actually go up to 10. So this very quickly sorts the lighties from the soundies, so which the, is interesting. They can turn the lights up to 11. No, they can't. They can turn them up to 100%. So basically, we've got our four different layers, and then within the, uh, with, once you've preset your four different layers, mm. each layer is up to 22 channels of DMX, and it's always values you know, starting at one through to 22, then you go back to your main audio layers and you can customize what you've got on each of those layers. So you can then have a master fader for the respective lighting layers mm. within your audio layers. So after our uh, Behringer X32 debacle review recently, when we got shellacked by all people, um, you went the extra yards and you took this to an actual gig <gasps> yep. on Friday I, night at the Red Rattler. I took this out to a gig and I mixed three bands off it and I lit three bands off it all at the same time, and I love it. Okay, did you smash the preamps? I, I, I gave the preamps a good smack at the start of the, uh, the main act, because as we all know, people tend to come up a bit in level. Um, this particular artist came up quite a bit in level on the vocal, and um, yeah, absolutely no problem at all. Uh, the other thing I like is that you can obviously do scene or cue recalls, and you can integrate into that your lighting cues along with fade times. How cool is that? Hmm. Shaman hasn't got an auto fade audio scene dynamic. You want the sound to light function. Oh, why no sound to light function? We grew up with color organs. I mean, you don't even need a microphone. It's all internal. I think v version two, it'll have sound to light. You want your color organ. Yeah, I want the f music to throb. Yeah, right. Okay, look, other things, other things to point out. Um, compressors, I like the compressors. I'd like a side chain on there, which it doesn't have, but for the size of console on the market that it sits in, um, that's, that's a sacrifice I'd be willing to make for the money. Um, two expansion slots into which you can stick various MADI cards uh, and, and various other expansion cards. So you can actually interface this with the other Soundcraft racks, whether it's the compact stage rack or even the full size. Um, VI racks, it'll, it'll talk across those quite happily. It's got uh, options, you can output MADI, you can output every channel directly on MADI, so if you've got uh, a MADI recording device which will take a Cat5 in, which is not as easy to find as you might think, you can record it, or if you use the optical card, that's probably a better option. Nice encoder feel. Um, yeah, really nice encoders, and the other thing is when you change a value on the encoder, it actually pops up on the display, mm. on the screen, so you can see what the actual value is straight that you're off, changing. Straight off, yeah. Um, it does left, center, right mode, and, and it'll actually, if you choose a channel and then assign it to both left, right, and mono, um, it will automatically drop into LCR, and then you just go into your channel inputs mm -hmm. uh, screen to adjust your pan width, so if you want to bring it across mm. no, no, left, it's warning center, us. and right. It's warning us, because LCR, in the hands of the uninitiated, can be disastrous. Yeah, as soon as you're in LCR mode, if you're center panned <coughs> with no stereo width, you're only going to see that channel appearing out the on middle. your center channel. Um, the other good news is the uh, 
the dumb user lockout feature. Yeah, and look, this is this is something that I think we commented on on when we reviewed the early uh, the compact series when it first came out was there was no sort of real security function, which uh, is something you kind of want in a, a school or a small house of worship environment. You want to be able to lock certain features out from particular users. Um, version this version of the software, which is applicable across the whole compact range. Um, has very nice security set up such that you can allow users to modify you know only faders or you know include channel parameters but not outputs um, you can choose which layers they're allowed to adjust so you could say have your layer a fully adjustable um, but then have your remaining features locked out so you've got your lighting preset states on the lighting layers which are the alt layers you can have those locked and just allow the users to bring the uh, the master levels for those particular mm. looks up and down. So, in that sense, it's very it's very foolproof. They've added a second USB port on the back. Um, so who knows what that what what you know could be implemented with that down the track. There's one on the top for your key for storing your uh, your shows and such. Um, storing shows is easy. Look, the the really big thing about this is that you don't need a lesson to use it. I. I wouldn't always necessarily take a console into a gig um, that I hadn't spent some time on. I, I spent a little bit of time on this in the office um, with one of the guys from Jans and, uh, and, and I walked away from that feeling like I, I was comfortable enough with it to, to take it onto a gig. Mm. And indeed, there's not a lot to trip you up on this. The, okay. the worst of it is the fact that you can change what this row of encoders does. You can adjust between gain, high pass filter and pan. Um, and when you're on a, a stereo input, that obviously works as a trim. Now, the other thing this has is uh, a system which allows you to share your head amps. If you're using multiple consoles uh, running off MADI, it's got this DOGS system which is, I think, direct out gain stabilizer or something along those lines. That would be um, dogs. Yes, uh, and you can switch that on and off, and that, that basically does your, your gain compensation mode for when you've got multiple people accessing the same right. sort of preamps. Did you enjoy the lexicon? Yeah, the lexicon's nice. Um, I did find that, that the encoders, you, the encoders have this, this weird thing about them where if you turn them slowly, you get very small changes. If you grab a handful of encoder and just twist, you'll get a big change. I like so, that. Yeah, I, I tend to go for pretty subtle changes on things like reverbs. Um, so I, I did find that a little bit frustrating, but really, you know, if, if that is the worst I can say ever, it, it's pretty good. Oh, it's good. Glad you liked it. Yeah, and look, I, I think this is, this is gonna answer a lot of questions for a lot of small venues, church environments, even schools, you know, there, there's a lot of merit for this thing. Cool.